Okay, now today's in this sorry in this question, this is question number ten, part D from October November two thousand seventeen, paper four, variant one. Okay, it's a question on vectors, and I'm going to answer part D one and two on this question. All right, so the first it's eleven D sorry. First, we're asked, okay, to find the vector from O to P, from O to P. They've told us in this diagram, O is the origin, and P lies on the line AB, such that A to P is 3, eight, the, the ratio from A to P to P to B is 3 to 4. Okay, so you could say this is like three parts. This is like... Three parts here. One second, sorry. Okay, this is like three parts and this is like four parts. So the total parts in this line are seven. So A to P is three parts out of seven. So we want to find the vector from O to P. So I'll write it up here so you can see what's going on. So O to P, if you want to go from O to P, I've got to go from a root that I know, so I can go from O to A, if I know. And then I can go from A to P, which is part of a root that I can find out. Because I can find out what A to B is, and A to P is part of it. Okay, so in order to complete this, I know what O to A is, that's no problem, I found it. I've got to find what A to P is. Now I know from looking at this vector diagram that A to P is part of A to B. And A to B the vector from A to B is minus A plus B. Minus A plus B. Okay? And I know that A to P is a fraction of that. A to P is a fraction of A to B. And you can see the fraction of A to B, that A to P is three parts out of a total of seven. So A to P is three out of seven of what A to B is, which is minus A plus B. So now I can put that all together. O to A is A. And I'm going to have plus 3 sevenths times minus A plus B. Okay? Of course, I can't leave my answer like that. I have to write it in its simplest form. Even if it doesn't mention that it's in the simplest form, I have to write it in its simplest form. So I have A minus 3 over 7 A plus 3 over 7 B. So A minus 3 over 7A, you have to combine them together. This is like 7 over 7A minus 3 over 7A, like when you add fractions. 7 minus 3 is 4, so that's 4 7 of A plus 3 7 of B. And that's our answer to part 1. So you have 4 7 of A plus 3 7 of B. Okay, now, part 2 I'm going to do in the next video